This is race three of week 11. This is the Kipgo Champion Phillies Stakes. It's a group one for the Phillies and Mares over a mile and four for three-year-olds and up. Brother in Arms, your Arc de Triumph winner, is the three to one favourite. Omega Girl, 20 to one. Sin Script, four to one. Uh, Sweet Scent for Obi-Wan. Bajangara for D Thompson, Belladonna for Josh Sutherland, Kangas Dan Arcea for D Thompson, Hyperion for Paul Rose, Johanna Hassan for Paul Rose, No Reason At All Leaf for Davy Ladd, Rosie Mary and Task Analysis for Hems, 12 go to post in the Kipco Champion Philly Stakes. And they're off. <laughs> the 1 mile 4 start here at Ascot. It's a good break by Obi-Wan's Sweet Scent, who's going to try and get across. Sin Script is trying to Head over to the rail. Belladonna, another one that likes to go forward, is also in between those. So these three have set their stall out early. It's Sweet Scent in the yellow nearest to us, who just has the lead from Sin Script on the rail. Belladonna in the red and black is in third, and the pack is currently headed by Hyperion. Uh, on the rail, task analysis is starting to push forward into fifth. Bazingara and Kangas down Arcea also there in the middle for Darren Thompson. No reason at all, Leaf is wide outside nearest to us in the purple and blue with uh, Rosie Mary and Brother in Arms together. Omega Girl is at wide at the back and Johanna Hassan is settled on the rail at the back. We're into the final mile of the Kipco Champion Philly Stakes. Sweet Stent still in front by around one length, maybe just over that from Sin Script, Belladonna. Task Analysis is now in sole fourth. With no reason at all, Leaf, Hyperion, Bajangara, Kangastan Arcea on the rail. Brother in Arms being pushed along to get a better position at the six furlong pole. Rosie Mary, Omega Girl and Johanna Hassan at the back. It's still Sweet Scent leading them down towards the final five furlongs as they rise out of Swinley Bottom. And the pace steadies as they br bunch up a little and head towards the final bend. And now they're going back downhill. The pace begins to pick up with Sweet Scent in front. And Belladonna is cruising in behind. Sin Scripts at it in third now. And here's Brother in Arms uh, round the outside with no reason at all. Leaf also coming in task analysis. They've broken away from the rest of the pack who are struggling to get into this. Sweet Scent is still going well out in front but hits the rising ground. And here's Brother in Arms, the up winner, looming up early this time. Brother in Arms isn't going to leave it too late this time and goes out in chase of Sweet Scent who's still holding the lead. It's Sweet Scent for Obi-Wan going into the final two furlongs. Here's Johanna Hassan. Will Johanna Hassan not be the bridesmaid this time? But it's Brother in Arms from Sweet Scent. Johanna Hassan now dropping away. It's Brother in Arms and Sweet Scent. They're clear. Brother in Arms from Sweet Scent. Who else is coming? There is the tall leaf. Omega Girl for Paul O'Neill's picking up in fine style down the outside. And in the red and green, flashes down the outside to take the group one for Paul O'Neill. Sin Script's coming back, but it's Omega Girl. What an upset. 20 to 1. Brother in Arms, the arc winner, got there way too early. What was the jockey doing on that one? Fire, that jockey. Sin Script in second. Stewards, there's a steward. I think Omega Girl had to push out to get out of the way. But this is a monster win. Holds it cheekily for Omega Girl. Paul O'Neill wins the Kipco champion Philly Stakes. What a big win that is for Paul O'Neill. Monstrous. Beating Sin Script. Multiple time group one winner, Brother in Arms, the arc winner, Belladonna, the Jewel Oaks winner. Um, so it's Omega Girl first, Sinscript second, Brother in Arms third, Belladonna in fourth, and Bajangara in fifth.